All right, I'm going to show you how to resize images for your website or blog using a free tool called Pixlr, which you can find at pixlr.com. When you go there, it basically comes up with this page. Uh, this is a free, a free uh, tool that basically lets you do a lot of the things that Photoshop will let you do uh, for a lot less price because free is a good price. What we're going to do today, though, is we're just going to edit an image to make it uh, more size appropriate to our blog. So this is the image we're going to edit. As you can see, it's 2.79 megabytes, which is way too big to put on a blog because uh, it's going to take forever for your page to load. And if you look at the details also, you'll see that it's also 3,008 pixels wide by 2,000 pixels tall. That's way bigger than any monitor. So that's just unnecessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Pixlr and say open image from computer. Uh, I'm going to open it right here from where it is in my computer. And all you have to do, this is so easy, you just come here to uh, image and then choose image size. You'll see that it's got the 3008 by 2000. Make sure that this constrained proportions is checked. And we're going to make this just a thousand pixels wide. And just say, okay, you'll see that it automatically changes the height to be 665 pixels. And basically it's ready to go. Now alternatively, if you wanted to I was doing control uh, minus and control plus just to zoom it in just like that for easier viewing. If you wanted to crop this as part of this process too, like say you didn't want to show this uh, corner of the of the RV in this picture, then you could choose the crop tool, which is right here, and just crop out the, the, the part of the picture that you want to keep. So I'm gonna actually make it a little bit smaller so I can get rid of that tail light. So if I do that, click crop again it says do you want to apply the changes yes so now you can see that I cropped that out and the next thing I'm going to do is go up here get into like I said image size choose image size you can see that it's a smaller width than it was because we cut some of it out we're going to resize what's left to be a thousand pixels wide to match our blog all you have to do now is click save and put in a name and Click OK. I would leave this at 80% because that's going to give you a much smaller file size. You can see that it's estimating that it's going to be less than 200K, which is down from almost 3 megabytes. So this is a much, much smaller uh, file. So I click Saved. And you can see now that I have the before, which is 2.79, and the after, which is 1.73. Uh, so this one now is, if I look at the details, it's 1,000 by 689, so it's ready to post on my site and looking great. And that's how you crop and resize your images for your website using the Pixlr free editing software at pixlr.com.